have an idea for you and your sweetie on Valentine's Day. How about a nice romantic bottle of wine? But not just any bottle of wine. Oh, no, no, no. Not coming from the craft queen. I'm talking about a beautifully decorated bottle of wine. That's what we're going to do. I know it doesn't look that way right now, but it will. Trust me. I removed the label. You don't have to do that. I removed the label because I wanted it for another craft project. So now I have a bottle of wine. I have to decorate. So here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some ribbon and some of this really awesome metallic-y paper. I don't know uh, where it came from or what it's called. Oh, yes, I do know. It came from uh, Trace Industries. And of course, you can find this at a scrapbooking store in the scrapbooking aisle. And I'm going to use a little bling bling here, which I love, in pink. And then this is just a little paper embellishment. Actually, the ribbon and the paper come from an entire line of uh, paper from Making Memories. So um, I always, you know, I'm a big proponent of working within the same lines because everything matches. Okay, and I have a couple tools that I'm going to use. Well, I already used my paper cutter because I cut the paper already. And I'm going to use this handy little tool here to adhere the paper and the ribbon and the embellishment to the bottle. This is an adhesive machine. It's from Zyron and it's just amazing. I love it. So here's the way it works. I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I've already measured the width here because I want I need to cover up all of that mess there that I made when I removed the label. So let me see, I'm going to cut this off right about, and I have to tell you something, um, sometimes it's difficult getting the paper around the bottle perfectly. That might be too wide, so let me try this one. I think this one's going to be better. Yeah, this one's going to be better. Even though it's a round bottle, sometimes it narrows at the top or the bottom and it's just difficult to get your paper on. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off right there. Having all the right tools for your projects make all the difference in the world. Now I've already measured the ribbon as well. It's going to go around the bottle twice on the top and the bottom, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to run it through this adhesive machine. Okay. So here's how it works. So we'll do it this way so you can really see. And this is this is a uh, permanent adhesive that I'm using. So I'm going to run this through. I'm going to run my paper through. And I'm even going to run this cute little heart embellishment through because um, it's going to have to have something to stick it to. So why not just run it through here as well. Okay. And we're just going to crank it through. Ribbon and all. See it coming out? What it's doing is putting adhesive backing on everything. How cool is that? Okay, so I'm gonna move that over. And when I peel this off, I'll have everything I need all ready to go. Look at that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so first we're gonna take our paper Pull that off, lay my wine bottle down, and nice. How professional does that look? Love that. Okay, next we're going to take the ribbon. See, and it already has adhesive on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but how cool is that? Do the same thing. And I'm going to kind of go over because I want to hide the edge of the paper. 
And then I'll just do a little trim right here. Get all the little strings off. Don't want any strings. Okay. I'm going to make sure that's straight. So you can peel it off and reposition it if you need to. Okay, let's do the other one. Once again, I'm going to just go a little on the outside of the paper. I think that's looking really good. Oh my gosh. It's turning out better than I thought. <laughs> Crack myself up. Any oohs and ahs from the peanut gallery? Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for fun, let's just add a little bling. These are really cool because you peel these off and they're nice and flexible, so they're gonna wrap around the bottle really nice. Oh, but I think I want to put this one on first because I might want to layer over it. So let me find the back. Beautiful. I'm going to do a little angle right there. You might want to write your message on there before you actually put it on there. Makes it a little bit easier. Like meet me in the park at lunch. Love that idea. Okay. These are kind of cool because these just can go just about anywhere. And I'm just going to put that right there. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? I said, how cute is that? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How adorable. Love it. Okay, there you go. A nice little romantic bottle of wine for your sweetheart on Valentine's Day or, you know what, any time of the year as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Email me and tell me how it went.